Today, I'll be challenging the world's best AIs to make a Roblox tower defense game to see which AI can make the best game, starting with XAI's Grok. And while Grok 4 makes the game, I'm going to explain the prompt that I'll be giving to all of the AIs. First, I tell the AI to write all of the code, from the UI to the tower. Then I tell it to include at least three towers and three enemies in the game. And the AI can decide what the theming, balancing, and progression for the game should be on its own. As for the map, the AI will either need to make the map itself somehow or provide detailed instructions as to what I'm supposed to do to create the map. And finally, it has to make sure I do as little work as possible. All right, so Grok4 just sent back all of its code along with a bunch of instructions, which I followed perfectly. So now let's test it out and see if it works. And there's nothing. So there's no UI and it doesn't look like anything spawning in. And there's an error here. Each AI is gonna get three corrections, which means I can give them three prompts to try and help the AI fix the game. Because the game doesn't work at all, Grok is gonna have to use its first correction. So I've sent Grok the error and it's implemented its fixes and it's fixed a bunch of stuff. And I've imported it into Studio, so let's check it out. So already we have some UI, which we didn't have before. Let's see if the tower placing works. So the tower placing... Okay, it was kind of funky there, but it does actually work. It looks like, yeah, it does. Which is probably the hardest mechanic to get down. So let's see if the start next wave button works. It doesn't appear to work and there's some errors. So it looks like Grok is gonna have to use another correction. So let's take these errors and give them to the AI along with some additional instructions. So that'll be Grok's second out of three corrections. All right, so Grok gave me a list of corrections to implement. So let's see if the game works now. So I'll put the archer tower down right here and let's start the next wave. So as you can see, actually enemies are spawning in and let's see if the tower shoots them. Oh, and the tower does actually shoot them. I wasn't sure if any of the AIs would get this far. So let's see, I just lost some lives, but I can buy more towers. So let's buy a couple cannon towers here and let's start the next wave again. Let's see if our, our new defense can handle it. I'm not sure if these, these guys are losing health. I think there was three when the wave started. So I think they are dying. I'm not quite sure though. So now I'm gonna use Grok's final correction to make some suggestions for improvements to the game. Like the UI honestly looks pretty bad and the towers don't function very well. And the game is kind of impossible because I have three towers down and I'm out of money and the guys still get through. So hopefully the AI can make some improvements and make the game a lot better. All right, so Grok just finished its changes and honestly, the game is looking pretty good. So let's go in and let's start the wave. So as you can see, the guy moves and he has a health bar, but it looks like he's actually getting stuck. Oh, okay, they actually do move. Okay, let's see if tower placing works. Okay, so somewhere when Grok was making changes, it looks like it broke tower placing. Since tower placing isn't functional, I'm gonna have to give this game a fairly low rating. But since most of the game doesn't actually work, I'm not gonna use the score system for this game, and instead I'm just gonna rate it based on what I see. Since the UI looks honestly kinda decent, and the moving works, and you could hover over to see their health, I'm gonna give this game a 2 out of 10. Alright, now let's see if Google's Gemini can do any better. Alright, so I'm here on Gemini 2.5 Pro with the same prompt. Let's see what it can do. Alright, so Gemini just finished the code, and it gave me a bunch of instructions. So I'm I'm here in studio and I followed all of the instructions it's given me, so let's test it out. All right, so I'm in and it doesn't look like anything really works, although I do have money and health, doesn't look like anything is working, and there's a bunch of errors here, so I'm gonna have to use Gemini's first correction. All right, Gemini just came back with his fixes, so let's see if it worked. All right, so I loaded the changes in the studio and... The leader stats still work, but nothing else works. There is an error, so I'm gonna go load this into the AI and see if it could fix it, but this is Gemini's second correction. So I gave Gemini the error and it's come back with some fixes, so let's see if it finally works. Also, I made the path parts visible. It told me to make them transparent, but I decided to make them visible so I know where the path is. All right, so this is already looking pretty good. The UI looks way better than Grok's UI, and honestly, it's looking pretty nice. So the wave is about to start, so let's place down a mage tower. Oh, and it actually places, obviously the towers look a little weird, but at least it works. And the mob spawn, and it actually turns and shoots them with a nice little animation there too as well. This is honestly looking pretty cool. Let's see what happens when they get to the end. So we actually do lose health when they get to the end here, which is pretty sick. And it's cool how it actually displayed emoticons on the UI using emojis. That was pretty creative. So right now the game is <laughs> pretty impossible, it looks like. Dude, the animation on the tower honestly looks really cool. I didn't even think this was possible for it to do, but the animation looks sick. And there's a bunch of different varieties of enemies and towers. Unfortunately, it didn't make these themselves. I had to actually go in and manually make these parts, but I did follow its instructions very closely and it was very simple. All right, so obviously the game isn't very balanced right now. It's functional, but it's not that great. So I'm gonna ask Gemini to make some balancing changes for its final correction. All right, so I went ahead and asked Gemini to balance out the game and add health bars to all the enemies. So let's see if it did it. So I'm gonna place my mage down and let's see how it works. All right, so all of the enemies actually have these sleek little health bars, but the game doesn't seem any more balanced than it was already. Obviously balance 
balancing takes time and it's really hard for the AI to do if it can't play the game. But honestly, Gemini did great. I am genuinely shocked by how well Gemini was able to do. So now it's time to rate Gemini's game. I'm going to rate functionality five out of five since all of the core game mechanics actually work. On quality, I'm going to rate it a two out of three since the UI looked pretty good, but the game was very unbalanced. For ease of use, I'm going to rate the game one out of two since most of it was importing scripts, but I did have to create a couple parts and do things that the AI could have done on its own. Making Gemini's final score eight out of 10, which is honestly pretty good. Let's see if Claude's game can even hold a candle to Gemini's. All right, so now I'm here with Claude 4 Opus. I have the same prompt once again. Let's see what it can do. All right, so I just followed all of Claude's instructions and imported all of its code. But before we get in the game, guys, make sure to tell me your ratings of the games down below. Wow, so there's a lot of UI here and it looks to be functional. Yeah, let's try and place a tower. Oh, it's kind of off the ground, which is a little weird, but the enemies spawn and they're going underground. All right, that's interesting. Uh, let's place, let's try placing a mage tower here. Okay, it won't let me place it. Also, prices aren't displaying and the ranges are here, which is kind of cool, but they're always displaying. Oh, and there's an upgrade menu, but, but it doesn't work. Let's see if the cell works. The cell does work. Health doesn't seem to work and neither does the money. So I guess it's got a good foundation, but Claude is going to have to fix a lot of bugs. All right. So for Claude's first correction, I've given it a bunch of feedback. Let's see if it can fix these issues. All right. So Claude just returned with its fixes. Let's see if it works. So first off going in the prices display and there's a wave thing here. Let's see. So the guys still move under, which is pretty annoying. Let's see. Placement seems to be fixed and money seems to work. So there's a lot of improvements here. When a new wave starts, I get money. And when I click on towers, it not only displays the range, but it also has an upgrade menu like last time. Let's see if it works now. And it does look like it works and it caps out at level two and it has a different color. It looks like as well when upgraded that the range is bigger, which is pretty cool. So the game is still kind of buggy. So I'm going to go back to Claude and ask it to fix a couple more of these bugs. All right, so Claude just said it fixed the enemies not following the path. Let's see if it works. And it does actually actually work but I actually reached my usage limit on Claude, which means I'm gonna have to rate the game like this. For functionality, I'm gonna give the game a five out of five since absolutely everything works. For quality, I'm gonna give the game a two out of three since it's on the same par as Gemini's game and it has kind of bad balancing. And for ease of use, I'm gonna give the game a two out of two since honestly, I had to do barely anything at all. All I had to do was make this base and the waypoints. So Claude's final score is nine out of 10. Overall, Claude did an incredible job. Let's see if ChatGPT can beat Claude and get a 10 out of 10. All right, I'm with ChatGPT 03 with the same prompt. Let's see how it does. All right, so ChatGPT just returned a lot of code. So let's test it out. Already, the UI looks better than all of the other games, but a lot of the buttons aren't labeled. So I'm a little bit confused. I'm assuming these are the towers. So let's place a tower down here and let's press this button, which I'm assuming starts the wave. Okay, so the shooting does actually work and it has a really interesting particle, but the enemies fall through the map. Another thing with ChatGPT's game is all of the waypoints were automatically generated. So I had to do nothing other than importing the scripts and setting up some remote events, which was pretty easy to do. But obviously the game doesn't work right now. So I'm gonna go tell ChatGPT and hopefully it can fix it. All right, so ChatGPT just gave me its fixes and obviously all of the buttons are labeled now, which is a lot nicer. Let's place down an archer. And as you can see, it stops placing as well after I placed it. I don't know if I mentioned that, but that was a bug earlier. Upgrading is a little weird. The selection's cool, but like, it, I don't think it costs me anything to upgrade. It also doesn't show the cost. Yeah, it doesn't cost me anything to upgrade. That's really weird, but the enemies were falling through. So let's start the wave and see if they still fall through. And it looks like the enemies are good, but I can't tell their health. And there's a couple other things like the balancing is a little weird. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to display their health, balance out the game and make it to where upgrades cost money. ChatGPT just finished its second correction. So let's hop in the game and nothing works. It looks like ChatGPT broke the whole game and there's an error here. I'm going to tell ChatGPT to correct it, but this will be its last correction. So if it doesn't fix it, then ChatGPT's game is going to suck. All right, ChatGPT just finished its final correction and it doesn't work. ChatGPT gets a zero out of 10, bro. What is this? Grok did better than this and Grok's game didn't even work, bro. So that means Claude made the best tower defense game with a score of nine out of 10. And if there's any two things you could take away from this video, one, ChatGPT sucks for making tower defense games and two, you should subscribe to Luckman.